Well, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> grab your cocktails, ladies. And your grab pillows. Them. Grab your pillows, grab your cocktails. Guess what? It's Wednesday night. Your ladies are here. Mickey James, Lisa Marie Barron. <clears throat> a bit of a raspy SoCal doll, but I'm here. Hey. There you are. Uh, yes, oh, I'm really doing it. Yes. On That's hashtag. What you do for TV. the people yeah. right here. Boom. The Gaul Nation. The Gaul Nation is yeah. running wild. And we are so happy that you guys are here. If you're watching live and you're in the chat room, hello, everybody in the chat room. We love when you're here live. If you're watching on replay, don't forget. <clears throat> to take a lozenge, but also don't forget that we are here live every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern in the live chat room. If you can make it, that'd be awesome. And while you're doing us a few flaves, do us one more and like this video. Yeah, give that thumbs That's up. That's the thing with the thumb. It mm -hmm. says it. It even says like. It does indeed. With the thumb. With the thumb. And also make sure that you are subscribed to our channel. Probably most important. Oh, yeah. Subscribe your bum off. Do it. Do yeah, it. it. Subscribe <laughs> Do away. It. And of course, last but not least, click that bell icon. There you go. There it and is. That, my friends. Ring it. Ring it. That will enable notifications so you never miss a future episode of God because we have some amazing guests coming up. One today as well. But Mickey, this is not where the fun stops, is it? There's more. Oh, there's so much more. More. Fun. You know where the most fun to be had is? Is on our Patreon is patreon backslash gaw tv where you mm -hmm. get exclusives you know exclusive content like little shout outs you get the juicy juicy you see me in my garden you see me riding horses you see val in the streets just doing it up in her fashionista wear you know lisa outside in san diego just kill kicking it yeah just kicking riding it. her electric bike that's right <laughs> I love how Cody B goes, oh, at least you're getting out on your bike and getting exercise. I go, did you not hear me? It's an electric bike. I have an electric I still bike pedal. I press still the counts. button. <laughs> That's fine. You know what else what we do, do is we do big giveaways and we give our top tier, our gorgeous members, we give them awesome things, awesome benefits every month. But this month is McTimber. We talked about it. <laughs> we season. renamed it. It kind of renamed it. Um, and I am giving away shout outs via Zoom call, a little Zoom chat, if you will, with all of our tippity, toppity, tirity Patreon members. <laughs> tippity, toppity. <laughs> I, I love it. I'm excited I about love that. It. Yeah. I'm excited. So excited. That's, excited. that's a great yeah. gift. Yeah. yeah. That's a great gift. gift. A lot of people Hi. are upgrading. So I'm giving. Yes. Thank you. Very for giving. Mickey. You are very giving. You You're are welcome. very giving. You're a giver. I am You're a, a giver. giver. You're a and a lover. And, and a lover, not a fighter. And a forget, fighter right? ran a party all nighter. That's one of my songs that I wrote. Oh, is it? Fire it. running through me with a little bit of sugar. You know, I have your CDs, um, but they're still in the wrapper. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to ruin them. Oh, she's gonna eBay it later. Yes, she doesn't want to damage it. Just download it on Apple. That's it. Yeah, that's it. And um, yeah. speaking of uh, downloading. You can download our podcast uh -huh. and listen to us on edited version two. Sorry. <laughs> oh, well, God, it Val, is. come on. They're somewhere. I don't know. It's just, I'll tell you what my good. damn husband was, was tidying. I have my earphones in. How dare he? He was tidying. I don't know where the hell my headphones are. Yes. And also, too, you out. the link down below. Thank you, Ella, by the way, a mm. wrestling gal. For just transferring all this to the podcast form. We love you so much. And Teespring. Mm. You can order all your ga merch. <laughs> below. As yes. Mickey is illustrating with that ga TV pillow. I'm in the office, right but I've got myself a purple ga TV pillow. Yeah, so much do. to choose from. So many colors. It's so cozy, too. It is. You know, you could just take a nap. Yeah. You, know? you can. Take a nap. Wake up. Wake up. Take us Maybe to just... bed. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> All right. Oh I my goodness. Right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and um, we do want to apologize. Um, we have a guest, and we, we booked do. this a long time ago, Mickey. And we're so sorry about this, but it it was I in the book. I feel like you're sorry. Well, <laughs> there's some sorriness going on, and uh, you know what? Uh, we but we honor everyone that we say is going to be here, and we did book this guest a while ago. Some things transpired. And we are so happy to welcome Chelsea Green. But before we do, Mickey, uh, you 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 good, bro? 
<laughs> you okay? I'm going to be fine because okay? I'm a professional. Okay. I have to give it to Chelsea because, you know, if it wasn't uh, for Chelsea, I probably wouldn't be on this last rodeo or it wouldn't have, you know, been a catalyst for this mindset that Ooh. I got to win ah. or go home, literally. So that's, that's just Chelsea. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Thanks for the it's rub. Fine. Thanks for the rub. Fine. Okay, <laughs> well, hey, thanks, you know, thanks for the rub, fine. sis. It's yeah. a slumber party and all are welcome, even if it's all a teeny bit, <laughs> teeny bit ox. Totes Aki Momo, <laughs> as they say here in the UK. Totes Aki Momo. But we're going to power it? through. It's going to be good. Totes Aki Momo. Totes. Uh, hashtag that. That's go wild in the chat room. Totes Aki Momo. <laughs> yeah. I'm totally yeah. stealing that. Totally. And we're going to welcome <laughs> Chelsea Green to the party. Welcome, Miss Chelsea. Miss mm. Green, if you're nasty. Uh, well, she's nasty. <laughs> Here she is. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. The <laughs> audacity oh. of this woman. I can't Mickey's, believe she's coming on our show. Mickey's entire posture has changed. <laughs> I know. Oh, there oh, she is. Wow. wow. Oh, hey. Oh, gorgeous. Hi. Gorgeous. Um, we, we just told Mickey that we had this in the books for a while. And, you know, we know that you guys have a little, you know, a little, you butt heads a little bit. So well, we had Mickey to apologize to Mickey. Mickey is a very, um, strong woman. And so am I. Thank you. Yes. Alpha females. Alpha female vibes. Yes. yes. That's, oh, a that's a hashtag. <laughs> hashtag alpha females. Before I was saying that before this gets to totes Aki Momo, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and start our favorite game. Uh, who are you wearing? What are you drinking? Chell, Chell, you go ahead. Okay. Now I'm on painkillers, so I couldn't drink. I can't remember what my excuse was last time um, because I feel like it was possibly the same, which. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, which seems very strange now that I'm saying it, but I just had a deja vu moment. Um, I did attempt to drink a glass of rosé the other day. It did not go down well um, in a couple different <laughs> aspects. So um, I've got some water mm -hmm. and uh, and I I've got a little fake Justin Bieber Drew hat on that I got from oh, my okay. girlfriend Mackenzie Mitchell's um bachelorette party oh fun. Fun. nice oh, we're going for McKenzie. casual vibes because we are post surgery i got my septum put back in place so i've got a little black eye here so we're going for like a very casual chic i Listen, like it you had, a, you, you had a deviated septum a deviated oh. septum Girl, I broke my nose so many times and I broke it actually before wrestling. So I probably broke it like four times in wrestling, but I had broken it really bad outside of wrestling first. And it was time. Like I have a month off. It was time to get it fixed. I couldn't breathe out this side of my nose. Oh. And it got to the point where I didn't even, it was like normal for me. Right. Yeah. Um, what well, we call deviated septum nose job. <laughs> well mickey, M M mickey probably knows i wanted like a nose job so bad but i was never gonna f with my face so this was the perfect perfect way to do uh, yeah. everything this is what my mom did too when she got pregnant with me she was like she was like i'm pregnant i have so much time off she hit her nose on something. She's like, let me just get it all done. There you go. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah, there yeah. anyway. You know, yeah. can I mean, you, can you tuck this too? Tuck this, lift this like, uh, while you're at it. Yeah. Just the whole you shebang. A little, little zhuzh. Just zhuzh. I knew, Mickey, I knew you were going to say that. Zhuzh. Zhuzh. I will only go next. I have a couple of things I want to uh, ask you. So, first of all, Chell Chell. Uh, Mackenzie Mitchell is such a babe. I've never met her, but I've loved seeing her interviews. She was in, in Impact Wrestling first, and now she's with WWE, I believe. Lovely um, gal, we'll have her on sometime. You would love her because she is like fashionable times a hundred. I always make sure when I don't know if an outfit is fashionable or like completely gone off the deep end, I message her and she's like, yes or no immediately she know like you'd love her she's she such seems a like our kind of gal yeah we'll have to have her on oh, she's very sure. honest very honest yeah very yeah, honest yeah. although she wouldn't fit in with us then no. <laughs> yeah yeah right honest. oh god 
No, <laughs> but um, I will tell you, I am drinking a rosé the size of my head. It's been a long, long day. I'm a little raspy. I've got a cold, so this kills germs. I'm I also a doctor. Does. It does do that. Support yeah. that. Um, yeah. I'm just wearing a little red number with a little Fuchi headband. This is in honor of Ella. Ella always loves when I wear a headband. My mm -hmm. nerd glasses. Um, but yeah, a little... Little Provence rose. It's my it's my You're medicine. So fancy. So, that is a giant Beautiful. glass. It's, oh my it's God. large. <laughs> this is an American pour, by the way. England, <laughs> thanks, oh but no. Stop with yeah. your little oh. boop, boop. Might as well have a dropper. I can't. This is an American. Yeah. It's a healthy pour. A healthy okay? pour. A healthy yeah. pour. Yeah. Yes. Lisa, yes. how are you doing in your life? I'm doing great. Um, I look at look at Val. I'm wearing earrings for the first time on our show. Oh, I'm look at there. Yeah. And they match. Look at. Amazon. Yeah. Matches my glasses, my Betsy Johnson that. classes. Um, just Amazon, nothing fancy. I'm just we wearing love Amazon. Yeah. I love Amazon and I'm wearing my pretty party. Um, pony pony, very easy to put in and thank you. Big shout out to them. They send me a lot of products and they just sent me fake bangs. So I'm going to sport that <gasps> couple. Sh yeah. I don't know how to put That's it on, really but really exciting. I, By the way, if you guys want to replay, <laughs> I got excited for bangs. And also if you want, I swear to you, if you want to replay when Chelsea said she was on painkillers, I go, Oh, I don't know. Why. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. I witnessed it. She is not lying. She got very She's like, excited. Ooh, I just thought maybe you'd be loopy. I was like, Oh, fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm just drinking, okay. you know, just a little bit of green tea and a uh, little bit of red wine, just a little splash of it. But um, yeah. Um, speaking of honesty, Brooke Tessmacher is very honest. I remember putting red lipstick on. She goes, girl, no, take that <laughs> lipstick off. She's girl. like brutally honest about that. Yeah. yeah, girl. You always need that friend. Yeah. You, do. Yeah, you do. I you love do. Uh, Mackenzie too. And she's with Vic and I love them together because I love him so much. And I'm so happy that they both found their perfect person, right? We're like, going to that. Italy for their wedding in two weeks. Oh, oh wow. Amazing. Oh, you know, I've already got all my Italy outfits ready. I pre-ordered a Prada bag and then I got $600 off because of the um, conversion rate that's literally sitting at my Italian villa right now. I am ready to go. Yes. Wow. wow. Yeah. Whoa. You got to watch House of Gucci before you go. Like I, I, I always oh. try to buy like that country's designer or like watch movies where they're like in yes. Italy or, you know what I mean? I love that stuff. Yeah. Oh, I'm so, no, I'm, I don't know any of that. Yeah. Yeah. Me either. I I'm like fancy to... <laughs> stuff, but I like, I, you know, um, I'm not wearing anything. I'm wearing this Gold's Gym Venice that my friend Sam, Sam Shaw got for me, but this, he used to be gold. All this oh. was gold, but I put it in the dryer. Oh so no! Oh turn the metallic into this brown, this poop brown color. But I still like the tint. <laughs> I just did it to it, and some drinking some Fresca because I'm doing uh, this metal cleanse. I just started doing this like metal detox kind of thing to get all the what does metals that do? out of your. So Candace told me about it. She was telling us about it, but so she told me about it. But it, it's supposed to like in even drinking out of this drink, but the foods and like the meats and all these other things they have like all these metals that are then like stick to your cells oh. and stuff so this detox is supposed to like loosen them up so they flush out to open up your nerve cells and all these like other things so i'm gonna try it out because you know yeah we all need a little assistance i'd like to do a yeah. detox every now and then a good cleanse yeah. if you will yeah and, and candace so is the metal. perfect person to talk to about that too she's it's super like, healthy i had never heard about these metal thing and i was like oh i'll try that that's scary. I always do like some type of detox, you know, I used to do those ones like every six months who put me on those? Bobby Lashley put me onto those. Every oh, six wow. Months. So it was like a full body detox kind of cleanse. The first time I did it, I swear to God, I lost like 10 pounds. Oh, wow. And how long did you, how, how long did you do that cleanse? Uh, it was a week, two weeks. It was a two week cleanse. This one's just, I don't know what this I'm doing it. You have to kind of slowly go into it. What'd you say, Chelsea? Yeah. There's, there's, um, there's a cleanse that is like the lemon juice cayenne one and With that the one vinegar. Is, yeah, that one's good, but my insides couldn't take it. Yeah. Ooh. A lot of them. And apple harsh. cider vinegar, right? Don't you put apple cider vinegar in there too? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. God. That, because upset, I have yeah, a that's... cold, I've been all about the brags, you know, it's with the mother, which with the sounds mother. really creepy, uh, yeah. by the way, but ew, nature, na you know me, ew. um, but brags, apple cider vinegar is supposed to be very good for you. You can do like a little, um, hot toddy with it, or you can mix it with like apple juice or whatever. It's supposed to be very good for you. Clearly it's working. Cause I still sound like a smoker lady, but <laughs> listen, ladies, 
Mm-hmm. Speaking of cleanses, we got to do something here. This is God TV. This is Grown Ass Women TV. We're all grown ass women. Can we just cleanse the auras and cleanse the air? Because I want to know, you know, just about the beef, serving a bit of beef uh, between yourself, Mickey, and, and Chelsea. Because, you know, we had you on before, Chelsea, and things were hunky dory. Mm-hmm. Now, not so much. So, Dish, Mickey, you have the floor um, first. Yeah. Or, no, Chelsea, you go. You go. No, no, no. Mick, Mick, why don't you go ahead? I don't want to talk about it really. I'm okay. I'm fine. Um, I'm your journey. I feel like I will always talk. Um, <laughs> so if the floor is open to me, Val, um, look, I am willing to put this aside for the next, you know, however long we're going to chit chat for. But at some point, you can't be treated like a little sister your whole life. Can you? I mean, I don't know if you guys are little sisters. I'm not. I'm an older sister. Okay, so I feel as if maybe this is what my little sister feels like. Like sometimes you can do things on your own and you don't need your older sister to do things for you and to fight your battles. And I was getting sick of it. That's all. That's all I have to say. And that's your journey. That's fine. You know, that's, that's Chell's journey. I'm an older sister as well. And I just, I was felt like I was looking out for you and I was your friend. And I felt like I always gave you sound advice, you know, from an open perspective and I wasn't biased and um, I respect you. And I respected you a lot more when I thought that you respected me. That's all. Hmm. See, my feelings don't are hurt. feel better? I, I certainly like, do. Do we? Yes. Yeah. This is therapy, therapy. This is what I is need it- my rosé too. <laughs> I know. It helps with feelings a lot. Trust yeah. Me. Do you I have a picture have of Mickey and Minnie Mouse over there? Okay. Yes. So I've got two. Let me tell you something. This one, Matt came home from Disney, like Epcot's Food and Wine Festival, drunk. He had ordered this. Um, and I said to him, just so you know, moving forward, art is a choice that you both have to make. You have to, like, for your house feel a connection to it and I do not feel a connection to that but it then sat in our house for years so one birthday I didn't know what to get him so I actually found the artist who made this and asked him if he could do oh, a geez. custom piece for me oh, and if you wow. closely, Mickey's tail is a star for America and Minnie's oh. tail is a maple leaf Oh Get my God, out. that's oh, so that's wow! So that is pure. so cool. Yeah, it's you guys awesome. go to Disneyland a lot, a lot, a lot. Big I bucks. always see on your Instagram. Yeah, yeah, we go a lot, but I feel like people don't understand that I'm a normal level Disney lover. Like, I feel like when I have kids, I'll totally love it for them, but I'm not crazy the way everyone thinks I am. Matt is the crazy one. Yes. Oh, so I didn't know he's the reputation. Okay. He's a crazy, like, five out of five Disney fan. He knows everything, not about Disney movies, but like about the parks. It's it's insanity. Yeah. Wow. Being a wow. being a Disney gal, I'm you know I'm not from Orlando, but I lived most of my life in Orlando, which I'm sure you're loving, and I'm so jealous. I can't. When you just said Epcot Food and Wine, that's my sanctuary. That's my therapy. I go yeah. over it every time. I love it so much. Um, and by the way, everyone's like, "Oh, is Europe the same?" I'm like, "Yeah, it's like the Disney cleaner version, but yeah, di- Europe is the exact damn same, same food, everything." Oh wow! Um, but I had no idea that Matt was so into it. And, and obviously, you guys both moving to Orlando. Do you, how often do you go to the parks? Is it like a ton? A ton. Yeah. We went a lot more last year because, um, even though it kind of sucked with the masks and everything, it Ooh. was such limited amount of people that were allowed in. So oh, we that's go awesome. in and actually get to like ride the rides and, and not be in these crazy lineups. So yeah. this year has been a little more hectic for us, but still, we still go way more than the average person. I mean, right. you know, I went twice in my life ever before I moved down here. So oh, I- wow. Yes. So this is, I mean, for the average person, it seems like we go every second week. Yeah. But if you live there, it's kind of a thing. Yeah. Do you have favorite rides? I want to ask you ladies next. I'm sure you've been to Disney World or Disneyland, but your favorite rides, Chelsea? I mean, Tower of Terror is like, and Space Mountain and Indiana Jones. Actually, see, then it gets into like, we have to break it down to park. Yeah. And like, are we talking um, Disneyland versus Disney World? all that stuff so you know that this is this is the um it's deep it gets yeah. deep yeah this is the perks or the downfalls whatever you decide of um marrying a disney fanatic is yeah, now right I'm down into categories 
Yeah. Nikki, have you so been? That's so Donovan fun, yet? though. What? Um, yeah, that sounds fun. That's so fun. Yeah, I've taken Donovan to Disney Disney World, and we've gone to Disneyland. Mm-hmm. Disneyland once. Disney. We've been there a bunch, but I couldn't tell you my favorite ride or any of that stuff. Like I don't know it mm-hmm. that well. And most yeah, of the rides too. I've rode were like the teacups and it's a small world. Kid stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the kid, yeah, yeah. yeah so I did. marked out huge. I went to Disney World and I was with WWE at the time and we were on the plane with Mickey Mouse and all that stuff for Make-A-Wish. So we went to the park and the kids got to ride with the wrestlers on, on, the, on the rides. And they give you an escort that has a vest that's a, it's a plaid vest and I was watching the parade and the princess, I think it was Cinderella. I, I don't remember who it was, but she was like, every, every character would wave at me. And I go, oh my God, are they wrestling fans? Do they know who I am? But he was going like this behind me. I caught him. He goes, she's the one that you're supposed to be acknowledging. And I go, yeah. Are you put? Yeah. <laughs> it ruined it. It He's ruined it. For me. Fairy tale. I, I thought it was kind of a big deal, but it was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, getting one of those people in the plaid vest. They make money. Yes. No, it that costs money. Is, they cost so much money. So that is a, like, that is one, a once in a lifetime thing. Like a lot of people will never, ever get to afford a VIP Disney tour. Yeah, that's wow. huge. When she said plaid vest, I went this because I've seen it in uh, California. Molly Ringwald was there. Hello, that's, 1980s princess. Oh, wow of cinema yeah. history, okay, Pretty in Pink. And, you know, but like you said, if you see a plaid vest, someone important is around. It's a big deal. Big yeah. time, like no no normal people can afford that. Mm. I, I wasn't paying for it. This was when wrestling, when this was WWE, you know. <laughs> Thanks so we had wrestling. For it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, yeah that, it was really cool. We got, go in the, we, we got to go in the front of the line and then I would just get on a, a ride with the kids. And it was just, oh, a, it was really spectacular. Sweet. And that's now it ruined me because now I, if I go to Disneyland and have to wait in that line, forget it. I yeah. know. Yeah. HD after that, queen. it's going to be horrible for you. Yeah. Yes. 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 I think that yeah. is my number one hang up with all theme parks, no matter where you go, is I hate waiting in line. Yeah. Nightclubs, any of it. I don't want to wait I in know. line. I know. I don't. Nightclub and I'm not thing, going to. I can't either. And I... I feel bad now because now I even when I go back to my hometown, I can't fathom going out with my girlfriends and standing in a line and like waiting. But then I also can't fathom going up to the head bartender and schmoozing like I used to. Right. Yeah. So I just do don't it. do yeah. it. I can't do it. I have like anxiety, like line anxiety. Yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 If yeah. I don't know like an owner or somebody that I'm going to be able to just scoop around the line and also that there's like a little separate table so i'm not yeah. co-mingling yeah i'm yeah. that person yeah, i've yeah. become that person i wasn't always i would be in the mix i didn't care i think now, yeah. I don't we have changed don't huh, Mickey? right we just changed like i'm a i'm more of a pub kind of gal i like to sit down and people watch and um yeah. Not, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have like a, hole in the walls I'm like a craft cocktail kind of gal yeah yeah and it, it does like just speak easy, like when i went back maybe What's that? A speakeasy? A speakeasy. Well, speak you fancy speakeasy. You fancy When I went back to Orlando, obviously I've, I've met you downtown in Orlando. There's so many great places to go. But when I went back after like a year or two, it might have been after COVID. So I hadn't been back quite a while, unfortunately. And I went back and I swear, I sat with my girlfriend and I went, we had been there, you know, a million times. I'm like, was the music always this loud? And, and, and yeah. then, were the lyrics always this filthy? Because my goodness, I'm clutching my pearls. How dare they? <laughs> and I felt so damn old. But it was not okay. I was like, this is this is not for ladies. <laughs> no. Was it, was it ale house? I'm going Where'd to the ale house. No, was, it was, was, it was like a club downtown. Or or okay. Ale house. Remember, oh, you know what it is, Chelsea? It's um Wall Street. Yeah, it's that area. Church Street. Yeah, Church Street and Wall Street. Yeah. Wall Street. Yeah. It's and I felt the same way. I mean, we met there and that's what that was like my like prime time. I would same. love going there, meeting everyone and like leaving my friends and walking around. And then I went back with Matt and I was like, am I a hundred years old? Exactly. Every time someone came up to me, I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> and why are your shoes so high? And where are your clothes? And where's your mother? I can't. And you Please. know, who the best was at, uh, Dean Mojo. We have to get him on the show, by the way. My God, we never had Dean. I love him. I call him Sweebity. And he, by the way, no alcohol in his body at all would be like the life of the party and hanging out and fun. 
And it was so fun back then. But again, then I got a few years older and went back and was like, this is un- unseemly. Like, unseemly. Yeah. It's unsightly. Excuse my language. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Oh my we God. Own, yeah, just we own. That's what we're trying to say. Yeah, I know. I know. That's really scary. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But really quick, before we go, tell us more about your OnlyFans. Obviously, we're going to drop all of the info in the descriptions. If they're not already following, which they probably already are, duh. Uh, how can they join your OnlyFans? And what sort of exclusives do you offer? Because obviously, you're a gorgeous, gorgeous gal, we know. And you have an amazing you know, physique and your photos are beautiful. But is it something that you kind of like to interact with your fans when you're on there? Is it something where they get a little peek at kind of the real... Chill, chill. Yeah. So in my OnlyFans, you can you can um go and subscribe, onlyfans.com slash Chelsea A Green. But it's it's basically, you know, I DM people, I chat with people about like everything, everyday life, like whatever it is. I actually have one person that DMs me like all the time. And I feel like I actually have a real relationship with this person in in France. So, you know, it's not just like I'm sitting there like send send doing other things like I do like to interact with people um I do a lot of exclusives so my calendar my 2023 calendar will be coming out it'll it'll be coming out first for my only fans people yeah. oh wow um just things like that and then you know I, I've stopped posting a lot of content on my Instagram I mean I still post regularly but I've stopped posted posting a lot of my um um like bikini pictures and stuff like that and I save it for only fans like these yeah, people yeah. pay a lot of money to support me and so I give them everything from like behind the scenes look at my life to work and being on the road to my yeah. photo shoots and, and just like all sorts of things but it's just fun to interact with people yeah. on a platform where they support you 100 people pay to be there so they're not paying to be there to troll you know right. like instagram and and twitter has become a real negative toxic, toxic place yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's just nice to be somewhere where i'm loved and i feel appreciated but like i can also just like give that back to the fans yeah right yeah. Sort of isn't it crazy people, yeah. it, it's so crazy like when you do like when people are following you and then they they bash you a little bit like if you don't like me, why are you following me? Exactly. Um, why I know, but just you know, that's the me. world. Yes, it's that's the world we live in. And they yeah. will live to get a rise out of everybody. And I've totally like they've definitely got a rise out of me numerous times. And I've slowly learned to just like not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Mickey, 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 block. You're block, block button. every. You're, I block a lot of people. Yeah. I don't I even mute people. I just block. I don't even let them know it's coming. I just I don't even respond. I don't, I just yeah. don't give him the satisfaction. He go. Yep. Same. She go, you know, cause she here's go. the thing. And this is why it's a weird, uh, when I look at it, I go like, it's kind of an odd place. And I think maybe for me, because I go like, I remember doing photo shoots and doing all these things. And I remember hiding them all when I first started wrestling, because I didn't want to be shamed in any sense of the word, right? Like I didn't, and I didn't want to be looked at different or anything. And now it's like these women, the, it gives them the power of, they don't have to go and chase $50 in West Virginia for a wrestling match that's hanging, you know, yeah. uh, in a school ha- or in, in a armory somewhere. Like they literally can have, you all can have your own, uh, stability and all the things and build your brand and your own sense of wealth and comfort. And it just gives you a lot more security um, to, and even confidence when you're chasing the dream or whatever, because you're not worried about it, about, oh, I need to do this, uh, yeah. you know, chase this dream to be rich or to make money. It's more because I love it and I want to. Yeah. And yeah. It's, a, it's a weird, it's a weird thing because I remember I had a brand army for a bit and I'm getting ready to do like maybe a fan time or something like that. But we do our Patreon account here too, where it's a lot of exclusive content. It's just kind of cutaways and stuff. And I just think it's really great for the for women and men. Men are doing OnlyFans now. Yeah. I see it all the time. But to be able to have that like control of what they're putting out there, because the reality is we have been given away too much content on Twitter, yeah. on yeah. Instagram, on Facebook for free. And the only people that are making money off of that is Instagram.com and Facebook.com yeah. and Twitter.com. Yeah. And not you. It's your own only fans. Yeah. And yeah. if your Control fans are going to pay yeah. what they would pay for a cup of coffee to go to Starbucks, 
to yeah. go hang out and just have like a real, those are the fans that love you and want to support you. And it used to be a culture that was very prevalent way back in the day. When you think about when you would sign up for a fan club, like new kids yeah. on the block. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Your $25 and you were, or whatever it was, and you'd get like a little token or a little letter in the mail and all the things. So it's, it's very much goes back to that kind of being a fan of a person and wanting to support them on yeah. any level that you choose and that kind of thing. So I think it's cool. I agree. I love it. And, and more power to anybody who can make money in other avenues other than, you know, just wrestling. It's to. really hard to make money and it's yeah. really hard to work up the ladder to make money to pay for rent. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Well, and I think it's a necessity. I think that if you are chasing this dream, you have to be putting your, uh, what's the thing of like seven, seven ways of wealth, right? Like, so you have yeah. to have yeah many irons in the fire because if a b and c aren't firing at least the rest are yeah you yeah, know yeah. so you're never in that coming from that place of oh shit i need to make rent anymore yeah because yeah. we've all been there yes we've all it been sucks. there i totally get that yeah, yeah. i just love that everyone's yeah. kind of controlling I, to use a little ec3 uh i knew you were going to say that controlling your own narrative but you are and you're you're your own boss and like everyone's everyone's only fans is different like some people like doing sexy photo shoots like you chelsea i love it too i love getting all glammed up and doing things but some people have only fans for their artwork or they have patreon for yeah you know their music or whatever music it is or, yeah. 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 yeah i mean matt has patreon for his um action figure stuff like they have right it, crazy this the yeah the Patreon that they've built so it's yeah. right I mean, all this stuff is not just like sex worker stuff anymore my parents right. know i have an only fans they love to brag to people about how it's <laughs> made me more money than anything else yeah. and 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 so they should so they yeah. should you know i bought my sister a ysl purse and i bought my mom a tv like we should be able to do those things yeah yeah, yeah. 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 I love that so much. It's nice well, to be able to buy something for your parents, huh? It feels oh, good. Oh, it's the yes. best feeling. Is that the it's best the feeling? best feeling ever. And I loved feeling that at WWE. And when I, and when I got released, I was like, Oh man. Oh, back to making sure that like I have my ducks in a row and everything. And then with only yeah. fans, I was like, it, it just gives me the freedom to be able to do something nice like that tip for my yeah. family who supported me. Yeah. Yeah. That lovely. Well, we of course support yeah, you here and we that. support your only yes. fans and we are so in awe of your beauty and your fabulous success but any final words for your fans that are watching here obviously everything they need to know about following you for updates is in the description but final words for your fans before we say cheers for now um i mean thank you guys so much for you know sticking by me and everything and now i'm a impact wrestling knockout tag team champion so you hopefully are i can do everybody proud and uh come bound for glory you know we'll retain the titles and sail on our way to um tag team stardom there we go there you go stardom yes <clears throat> and lisa okay. and tracy brooks and i will be watching on fight tv we'll be on alternate for commentary. that one we love uh, Tom and Matt. I'll give you some notes. You want something. Yeah. Yes. We, thank we you, really, Mickey. Ours is kind of more casual and just silly and fun. And just, especially we're, listen, we talk about the outfits a lot. Just, just so you know, talk a we're lot of chat with you guys. So we'll put that in the description as well. But Chelsea, lots of love. Thank you for being here. Thank ciao, you ciao. It was a pleasure. Love you. Love you. <laughs> this is the word. Go, yo, go.